Welcome to your online dance class. My name is Yanael and I've been teaching at two of the place's partner schools this year. So as you can see, my colleagues and I have decided to film some classes and send them to you so you can do them at home. I hope you enjoy this one and let's get started. So I'd like you to imagine, to begin with, that it's a really, really warm, sunny day. So how might you move if it's really warm, if the sun is up? Try and really open your body out to the sun to catch some light on your hands, on your face, on your arms, on your chest and belly, even on your legs. How can your legs catch some sun from behind, from the top? Can your back catch the sun as well? And can the soles of your feet also catch some sun? Really enjoying this nice, stretchy, warm feeling. Okay, that's our warm dance movement. Now, if it was really cold, maybe it's a really chilly day today, what might your body do? I'm thinking maybe something quite small. You might be trying to rub your body warm, making yourself really, really tight, rubbing your hands, rubbing your legs, rubbing your back, and trying to move in this way, keeping everything quite small and compact as you go. Good, okay, so we've got two opposites there, a nice, big and stretchy, warm type of movement, and then the really small and compact, cold movements. Now, it might be windy today, if you look at any trees that might be swaying with the wind, what if we tried to move like it's windy and like the wind is taking us maybe even off our feet see how far you can go see if you can fall from one side to the other you might even swirl all the way down and spin all the way back up so this is our windy movement quality. Right, it might also be raining or it might have rained today. So if you think of the floor as quite wet and covered in puddles, what might you do? Do you ever tiptoe past the puddles or sometimes leap over them? So try different things. Try not to get your feet wet jumping and avoiding these puddles. Alright, so this is our rainy movement quality. Anything else? We have the warm, stretchy and sunny moves. We have the cold, small and compact moves. We have the sway of the wind that brings us off our feet and we have the jumpy, rainy movement quality. There might be more, so it's up to you to look out through the window and have a think, have a play. What does that weather look like if we try and put it in a dance? So let's have another 30 seconds or 45 seconds just to play with these different weather dances. Have fun, let's go for it.
shape. Well done, we're just going to finish with some stretches. So if you open your legs nice and wide, bring both arms up to the ceiling and then let one hand go down to your shin or maybe even down to the floor if you can reach for the floor. Breathing deeply there. Let that top hand pull you all the way up and swap over. One hand right down into that puddle and the other hand up towards the ceiling. Let the top hand pull you all the way up again. Bring your hands on your hips and then we'll take one hand over to the opposite side, stretching the side of the body there and swap over. Hand on the hip, hand over side, you may want to look down there, just relaxing the neck, and come all the way back up. Great, bring your feet a little bit closer together, and place one heel in front of you. So if I do this side on, we're going to have one heel in front, flexing the toes towards your nose to stretch the back of your leg. for you to do from home. I hope you'll make the most of those and most importantly, take care and stay well. Bye!